My name is Polina, I'm an application engineer at Amlet, and here is the last video in the post-processing with Amlet Studio series. This time, we'll tell you about the stop and go with Amlet Flow workflow in Amlet Studio. Stop and go with Amlet Flow allows you to improve the positions of the points collected without a real-time correction link between a base and a rover. This may happen due to insufficient line of sight, absence of the internet connection, non-availability of the entry service, etc. The workflow in the field involves the use of a base and a rover attending all unknown points and occupying each one for a short time. The technique can be compared to point collection in RTK, but precise positions of the collected points are calculated afterward, not in real time. To put the technique into practice, you'll need to take the following steps. First, you should decide how you want to set up your base. Check out the series of guides on base setup methods in our docs. The link is in the description below. Then, make sure you're in an open area with a clear sky view and, using the tripod, place your base. After that, configure the login settings and complete the setup by choosing the basis coordinates entry method. Then, proceed with the rover. Provide it with a clear sky view Configure the login settings you used for the base. And enable recording on both units. Finally, you can start collecting points. To improve the position of the collected points, you should have the following files. A Rhinox observation file from the base. A Rhinox observation file from the rover. A Rhinox navigation file from the base or from the rover. A CSV file from Amlet flow. Make sure that you averaged points for your project, and note that the CSV PNZD format cannot be used for the stop and go workflow. If your raw data logs are in the UBX format, Amlet Studio will automatically convert them to the Rhinox 303 format using the background conversion feature. Let's post process the files in Amlet Studio. The workflow is the following Add the Rhinox observation file from the rover. The antenna height will be taken from the CSV file. Add the Rhinox observation file from the base. Set the base coordinates. By default, the Rhinox header position is used. If you placed your base over the point with known coordinates, enter them manually, including the antenna height. Make sure that you use only one of the specified methods. Add the Rhinox navigation file from the base or over. Click Process and wait until the post file is ready. Amlet Studio will show it on the plot. Add the CSV file from Amlet Flow and tick the required data quality to choose solutions to be averaged. Click Process. When the processing is over, you'll see the points on the plot. If you need the corrected CSV file, click the Show Result Files button. Look how easily you can improve the position of the collected points using the Stop and Go with Amlet Flow workflow. That's it! You've watched the whole series of videos dedicated to the post-processing workflows in Amlet Studio. With Amlet Studio, you'll save time and get precise results without effort. By the way, you can also check our docs. And of course, we've prepared a quiz for you. Test your knowledge before diving into post-processing with Amlet Studio. The link is in the description below.